Alrighty, so we are doing a tutorial today on how to create one of the beautiful looking puzzle grids on Instagram. So you'll just have to excuse some uh, child noise in the background because this is real life. So basically I have started off with a new, I've picked a um, new design and I have made it the custom size of 3240 by 2160 and that's going to give us a three by two puzzle grid okay so the first thing that we need to do is set our grid lines so we press L for a line okay so we've got a line like this and we duplicate it rotate it to 90 degrees Okay, then I'm going to duplicate that again and then just so that I can make sure I've got it in the right spot I'm going to move one all the way to the edge I'm going to duplicate and then move another one all the way to the edge okay so what I'm going to do is then highlight all my vertical lines I'm going to go to position and position them horizontally that spreads them out and I'm going to put my horizontal line and make sure that's in the middle, it's in the middle. What I'll do with them, I'll delete the two end lines and I'm going to group these together. So they are now grouped and that forms my grid. Okay, so then I can start to put um, pictures in. So I might search for flower whatever your um, design you want to be so you might like to keep the main part of it in one square but just tuck a little bit over for interest into another one you can also search for blobs blobs are quite um, fashionable at the moment in elements sorry blobs in photos aren't very good so we've got this lovely pink one here I'm going to choose it and I'm going to just move it to the background behind the flowers other things that you can use are spots I love 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 this spots I've used them in a few designs lately and I think they just really really just add something special so keep going with that then you might want to add um, a photo of yourself so I'm adding this photo here maybe here resize it so make sure the reason that we have the grids is so that you can see what an individual square is going to look like so I'm putting that one to the back now because my grid lines are at the front um, if I press shift and click, or control and click, then I can access my actual um, photo to, to move it a little bit. So I want to make the most of the picture in the one spot. And then there you go. So if we keep um, creating like that, then I'll go up to one that I have prepared earlier. So you'll see I have prepared this one earlier. Um, so I've still got the grid lines in it but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete the grid lines okay so this is then the file that we need so I'm going to go download download as a PNG I always um, double it but you can if you've only got um, free then you can use whatever you've got now I go to done because I'm just after this one here and then we go download. So it will just take a couple of seconds for it to download in the Canva and then we're going to go to uh, external tool. So you need some kind of image splitting tool. I've just gone um, with this one here so I've gone with the one from pine tools so I'm going to um, choose my file okay 
Okay, so then I want to split it into a grid. Output format is JPEG. Now, vertically, I want it split into two and horizontally, I'll need it split into three. So that's going to give us a beautiful grid of six. So I split my image here and then I have all my all my pieces. So I'll download each of these pieces. Then when you're posting, we post from the bottom first. Then your row one, column one, which is this one here, will be the last one that you post. So that's it. That is how to create a beautiful little Instagram grid with Canva and Pine Tools Image Splitter.